in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a really good trip style and passing concept. It's going to be able to beat man coverage, zone coverage. It's also a quick snap play, meaning you're only going to need to use one hot route to make this play effective. I'm going to show you two variations of it today. One of them is a little better against zone, and one of them is a little better against man, but they will both beat both coverages. Now, if you want to learn more about Trips Tied In, make sure you get my Trips Tied In offensive ebook. The best way to get that is to sign up for our Patreon. I'll put a link down in the description below where you can check out the Patreon page. It's only $10 to become a member, and it gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. We just dropped a brand new dollar defense um, last night. Really, really good ebook. Um, kind of explaining how to run, um, you know, the dollar baseline and really how to make the best adjustments out of it. And also some really hidden uh, things that you could do to make the blitz even better from dollar. So uh, be sure to check that out. Again, links in the description. Let's get in the video. Let's talk about, uh, let's talk about this uh, play here. So this is curl flat. And if you're running trips tight in this year, or really any formation, um, I think it's really helpful to have an outside apprentice. The first setup we're going to show you, it requires outside apprentice. The second setup doesn't. Okay, um, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so um, curl flat. All we're going to do, come out, put a C route, and snap the ball as fast as possible. You literally want to snap this ball as fast as you possibly can so that you can get nano blitz by a four-man rush at a dollar. Right? You want to snap the ball fast. Okay, you want to snap the ball fast. That is a key to this play. And this C route on the left side is going to beat man very consistently. So it's going to force them to have to make an adjustment to the C route. The most common adjustment that you're going to see is they are going to drop an outside third um, to that side. So you're going to see here, here, this is an outside third. And what you're going to see is it's going to, for the most part, stop it, right? You can try to ag it, but by and large, it's going to stop that. Now we're going to turn our attention to the middle of the field and the defense that they have to structure. What you're going to notice is we have a slant post combo. Essentially, this angle route is going to act like a slant, and then our post is going to be open as well. So they have to choose, am I going to guard the post, which is going to get open in that area, or am I going to guard the angle route, which is going to get open in a completely opposite area uh, from this as well. So you'll see here, again, just C route, snap the ball fast. And what you'll see here is this angle route, will get open over the middle of the field. So it really breaks down man coverage really, really well. And if they're falling asleep at the wheel, which does happen depending on how they're going to be making their adjustments, if they're not putting anyone over here on the right side, you're tied in. It's not a terrible read. Um, you're just looking, do I have access? If I have outside leverage, I'll throw this. Free form that outside, and you're going to get that easy separation against man. Okay? Really, really good combo. Really good against man. Now, let's talk about it from a zone perspective. The biggest thing with zone is your C route's not going to be the greatest read in the world. Um, but you can actually throw this flat route with a pass lead up. I'm not freeforming it. I just simply classic pass it and, and lead it up field if they're not playing hard flats. So if they're not playing hard flats, I can look out here to the flat and say, oh, I've got a quick read. I can take that. So as I'm looking at the C route at the snap of the ball, I'm also looking at that flat route, and this creates a nice little key uh, quick reads. Um, it creates for us some quick reads. So you see here, I'm going to look out here to the left side. Can I throw it? Oh, he goes. You can try to cut that off against the third. I will say it's not the best, uh, but you can mess around with that if you want to. Um, I do think it's a little bit like playing with fire. But if they're in a cover two, let's say they're in a cover two because they're really trying to stop your flat game for whatever reason, this C route, you'll see right here, it can kill the cover two. So it's really good against cover two, so it's going to funnel them into specific coverages that we're going to beat with our second setup here in just a second. So it's going to funnel them into a cover three on the trip side, and really a cover three in general. Um, but what you'll see here is if they're in cover two, this is a really good cover two beating route. If I could throw it properly, he's wide open. I'm not going to re-throw it. He's wide open. You can see it, Okay. So this funnels them into cover three with hard flats. This is the defense they basically have to play. The problem is this, this um, play isn't terrible against this. That corner route will pull that outside third, and you will see you can highball that post over the yellows. So if they're not using the post, you can throw that if they're going to suck down to that running back route. Okay. If they're going to use the post route, 
then you're going to be able to throw this running back if he ever gets to the spot. Obviously, in Mutt, you're going to have someone that's faster than Leonard Fournette. But he's open, okay? Last piece of this is the setup that I like to go to if they're playing, if I start to notice they're playing a lot of cover three or cover four. This is a great setup for cover three. Um, all we're going to do is still quick snap setup. We're streaking this guy and snapping the ball. And what's going to happen here is you'll see that the circle receiver will just destroy zone over them, over that side, over on that sideline. This will also be cover two to that side, which I'll show you here. So like, let's say they're in a cover two, double Mabel 30 yard cloud. When you run this with your trips to the short side or uh, to the wide side, this post is going to get deep enough to get over a 30 yard cloud. So you are able to really beat um, any kind of zone on that side. The one zone that I think can give this some trouble is a cover for hard flat. But we'll show you this real quick here. So this is cover for hard flat. If you watch, you're going to notice if it's a press quarter, you can kind of get the ball over him, but it's not quite there. It's not, it's not a one-to-one. -one. But there is a window to throw this against cover for hard flat, which I'm about to show you. So if it's a baseline press, and they're running cover for hard flat on you, what you want to do is you're going to throw this ball right there. Um, and again, you know, you get it a little bit better accuracy from good old Brady there. Um, but you see it's wide open. And, and I'll show you again. As soon as the DB, as soon as the safety kind of turns and runs, we're going to throw that right there. And again, I don't know why he's not turning and running with that, with that streak. Um, I guess the Denver Broncos defense is psychic here in practice mode. <laughs> but we'll show it to you here. It, a lot of it has to do with the fact that the camera braid is so slow. Um, but what you'll see right there. And you cut it off. And we show you in the Patreon, we actually have a video that teaches you an ability that will make catching 10 times better on every player on your field. Um, super, super good ability this year. Especially with the way the AP is going on offense. And then you also have this curl route. This curl route really needs you to pay attention to this piece. Um, one of the most common adjustments that people are going to make is they're going to put this defender into a third. It's like extremely common. They're going to put that defender on the left side into a third. You can throw this, um, this curl right here. The other thing you could do is let's say that that third plays out of its mind as you're seeing it do uh, right here. Like, Let's say, let's just say, you know what, this, this, this third, he plays out of his mind to stop this, this curl, which he should never stop a curl route. But anyways, you'll see here that this angle route is still open over the middle of the field. If we can catch it, he's still running over here, over on the middle of the field. So if they're, if they're running like a true cover three press, you know, kind of like something like this, um, if you watch here, this running back can be a really powerful route for you. Uh, you'll see right in there. See how he gets. Now, I will say if they if they are just putting the third and man, the curl's not as good. But if they're running like a baseline press, you know, this is kind of standard dollar stuff. Then what you'll see here is this third. Eh, we can actually bomb that press third, but you, you'll see that, that that curl can be there for you. So... Just something to kind of keep in mind with your with your offense. If they're if they're running press thirds on there, um, the curl route is at least worth a look. Sometimes it won't be there for you, but if you free form it down, it's pretty effective against that. Now, if they're in a if they're in that cover four defense that I was talking about a second ago, where they're base aligning and they're pressing and they're running cover four, this uh, curl should be pretty good for you. You'll see right here, boom. Okay. So you just free form it down and inside, and it's pretty decent against hard flats. So that is curl flat. You have the ability to literally beat every coverage in the game. Um, there's other ways to run this play, but I love this. The the I've been kind of trying to challenge myself and just basically run a quick snap offense, making very minimal hot routes. You'll actually be surprised that you can have a, a pretty good offense uh, by doing this, and I think it actually makes you a better offensive player uh, in general. But anyways. This is a great little play for attacking man and zone. The other thing I didn't get to, um, we'll show you real quick. Let's say you're playing DB fire. You know, so they do something like this. Now they have to make a decision. Are they going to guard the tight end or are they going to guard the running back angle route? Because if they send the player on the left, you'll see right here, 
They go up with the tight end. I can throw right in here. That's a great little blitz beater that I've found. Very effective for the dollar meta. Any kind of zone blitz, that angle route is really good for it. Okay. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get the full Patreon or the, the full Trips ebook, get in the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up. The link to sign up is down in the description. And I uh, would really encourage you to check that out. You get everything. You get everything by being a member. All the ebooks, all the updates, all the pro tips, everything for 10 bucks. Link is in the description if you want to go check it out. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you guys later today.